Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about capsules and packing statistics. Okay, so let's say today we are preparing 75 milligrams of some mock drug or let's say morphine capsules. Okay, 75 milligrams of morphine capsules. And the capsule size which we are going to take today is a zero size capsule. Zero size, size zero. Okay, all right. So, if 75 milligrams means in this particular size capsule, so 75 milligrams will occupy roughly, you know, around 15% uh, per se. All right. So, rest of the percentage, around approximately 85% of this capsule, uh, should be filled with some kind of filler, such as you know starch or uh, lactose or methyl cellulose. Um, any other fillers which is necessary and which is you know which are compatible with the drug by the way all right so let's get started so how we do it mainly and what we going to do it I'm going to explain uh, step by step the first thing is we are going to weigh the capsules okay this is the first thing and the second thing is we are going to fill the capsules with the drug completely okay we are going to fill 10 capsules completely just with the drug nothing else and in the third steps we are going to fill completely with the filler so as I mentioned the filler here we are taking is either starch or lactose anything which you can take okay so and the fourth step is we are going to combine the required amount of the drug so let's say here we are doing 75 milligrams of morphine right so 75 times uh, whatever the number of capsules which you're taking so let's say 75 milligrams times 10 750 milligrams and the amount of filler whatever that is required we have no idea for let's say this is y amount so we have no idea about what is the amount so that is what we are trying to find out okay so that is what we are trying to find out now let's let's go step by step okay the main thing which I want to show you is here we are converting weight to volume and volume to weight. If you remember this logic, you are going to solve this puzzle easily, very easily. Okay? So, the first step as I mentioned, I weighed out all the capsules here. I weighed out 10 capsules and I have taken 10 the average weight of these 10 capsules is 0 0.0648 grams by the way okay remember that don't get confused with the units so 0 0.0648 and the next step what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a capsule so the capsule will have the head and the body right so you open it so if you open it the head will be smaller and the body will be a little bit longer okay so fill the head portion with the drug completely completely you're going to fill it with the drug and you're going to pack it very tightly and once you fill it wipe the body part against your way boat so that you'll have a smooth surface um, of head so there's no extra amount of uh, drug or in you know inaccurate in each and every capsule so and again close this and weigh the capsules okay so weigh out the capsules each one so I weighed all the 10 capsules individually with just this is the drug and calculate the average uh, weight of uh, all the capsules so this is my average weight of all the capsules filled with the drug by the way so the average weight of uh, 10 capsules filled with the drug is 0 0.5184 alright so but they're involved because these capsules are in a gelatin capsule that means these gelatin capsules have some weight the empty gelatin capsule so as you are aware this is the empty gelatin weight capsule right so what we can do is we are going to subtract uh, the total weight from the total weight of the capsule that is 0 0.5184 minus the average weight of capsule is 0 0.0648 grams this is all in grams so the amount of the drug in each capsule will is approximately 0 
1.4536 grams that means one capsule can uh, no, one capsule completely we can fill one capsule with 0 0.4536 grams but all we need for the drug is 75 milligrams remember this so today we're putting 75 milligrams of morphine capsule right so let's say if 100 percent volume of the capsule is occupying 0 0.4536 grams then 75 milligrams that is 0 0.075 grams right Seven, 75 milligrams is nothing but 0 0.075 grams right so how much volume it's going to occupy that is x percent volume okay so that's what we're going to figure out now so if 100 percent can occupy 0 0.4536 grams and x percent can how do you calculate that 0 0.075 times 100 divided by 0 0.4536 that is approximately 16.5 percent okay so that means the volume of the drug that occupies in each capsule is 16.5 percent so that means that means how much amount of filler do we need by the way how much amount of filler we need 16.5 percent is occupied by the drug then 100 minus 16.5 that is 83.5 percent volume you know should be occupied by the filler right so now that we know that 83.5 percent should be occupied by the filler let's convert this average weight here to the volume are we going to convert okay so the amount of filler in each we don't know we're going to calculate that that is 0 0.2592 minus the empty weight of the capsule how much is the empty weight of the capsule 0 0.0648 right 0 0.0648 grams that is approximately 0 0.1944 grams in each capsule okay so that means 100% is 0 0.1944 grams then 83.5% is how many grams so that's what we're going to calculate then x is equal to 83.5 times 0 0.1944 divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.162 grams okay all right so again just we are all we are doing is converting grams to volume and volume to grams the, in the first step we converted amount of drug to volume that means 0 0.7 0 0.075 grams to 16.5 percent volume okay now what we did so we subtracted that from total volume of the capsule that is 100 minus 16.5 that is 83.5 percent so using this 83.5 percent we converted this back to the amount that is weight so how we converted that as I mentioned in one capsule the maximum amount of the drug that we can accommodate is 0 0.1944 grams right so that means 83.5 percent is how much amount of the drug that is 0 0.162 make sure you're subtracting every time the empty capsule weight so here I subtracted the empty capsule weight and I did the same thing with the drug right so now you know the amount of the drug we need which I we already know the amount of the drug because initially I mentioned 75 milligrams of morphine capsule right 75 milligrams that is nothing but 0 0.075 grams and the amount of filler just now we converted from volume that is 83.5 percent volume is equal to 0 0.162 grams right 0 0.162 grams so if you add this then the theoretical weight of the capsule will be get will get theoretical weight however do remember as I mentioned we are going to add 
the empty weight of the capsule that is 0 0.0648 grams so the total weight of the capsule should be 0 0.3018 grams right so the total weight theoretical weight by the, by the way this is theoretical weight so now I hope you know how to calculate the percent error right so the percent error is equal to theoretical weight minus actual weight divided by theoretical weight times 100 by the way this is absolute difference this is not the difference this is absolute difference okay all right that is it